So what are the primary duties of an insurer? Well, to start with, whatever contingent uh, risk is identified, the insurer has to uh, pay towards any losses or damages incurred as a result of that uh, contingency. Okay, if it's property that uh, the contingent risk is that it's somehow damaged, if that property is damaged, the insurer has to pay for that for the damages that occurred. If the contingent risk is uh, harm to third parties as a result of the insured's uh, conduct or activity, uh, then the insurer will pay for the damages um, that the insured would otherwise personally owe to the third party who is injured or in some way suffers harm or damages. Okay, so the insured is going to step in and have that duty to pay and hold uh, the insured harmless. Now, they also generally have a duty to defend. So, in those liability situations where some third party uh, is suing um, or bringing a, a legal action against the insured for some specific covered risk or contingency, then the insurer generally has a duty to step in and pay the cost associated with defense of that action, right? To defend or award off any level of potential liability that the insured would uh, uh, incur in that situation. And that's generally to the benefit of uh, the insurer because, again, if they're the ultimate payor in the situation, it makes sense for them to want to uh, pay for or bring in someone to defend the insured against this action by a third party that's going to create liability for the insured and then ultimately the insurer. And then uh, lastly, this is actually a right of the insured, but they have the right to subrogation uh, of any claims that the insured would have against third parties based upon the damages. So if property is damaged because of th some third party's activity, if the insured themselves are harmed because of some third party's activity, uh, and the insurer pays out, indemnifies or holds the insured harmless or pays them for any harm they suffered, then the insurer is going to be subrogated to their interest. They are going to have a right to bring an action against these third parties to recover for their losses, the losses incurred as a result of this third party's activity. So they take the rights of the insured right, and can enforce them themselves because the insurer has already paid out or made uh, the insured whole. So the insured no longer has those rights, it's the insurer that holds them in that way.